Hi, my name is Lizette Gamas, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born with a hearing loss, and I've been wearing hearing aids since I was five years old. My sister, my brother, and I wear hearing aids. We're the only ones in our family, aside from my two grandparents, um, that wear hearing aids. It's been interesting growing up with a hearing loss. Um, a lot of people think that we're too young or, you know, something's wrong with us. So there was a lot of challenges that we had to face growing up. When after high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to follow my sister's footsteps and become a medical assistant, thinking that my life was to become a nurse. I love taking care of people. And so I became a medical assistant, and by mistake, I was placed at an ear, nose, and throat office uh, by my school. And so as I was at the ear, nose, and throat office, they wanted me to go to a family practice and because that's where I was supposed to be. But I was like, no, I really like it here. But I wanted to stay as a medical assistant. The audiologist on staff wanted me to become her assistant because she kn knew I, I wear hearing aids. So, you know, two weeks in, three weeks into, into the internship, she convinced me to become her assistant. Having worn hearing aids since I was five years old, I didn't want anything to do with audiology, but I didn't know what I was missing. I, having been a patient for that long, I just didn't want to be in the field. At least that's what I thought. Once I became her assistant, I realized what a life-changing opportunity that was. So that's how my journey in the audiology field began. I was an assistant for a long time and I loved it. So and I wanted to take that f into further. So I became a dispenser in 2016 and I have not looked back since. I love what I do. I love helping people that go through what I've gone through or I still go through. I still, fe I still face challenges out in the real world. I'll go to the supermarket and people will say something and I don't hear them. And you know, it's, it's part of being a hearing impaired person, but that doesn't stop me from living my life to the fullest. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to help people that go through what I go through. I'm here to help people, you know, hear their best, hear, hear better and interact with their family members, with their relatives, with their friends. That's what I love. That's why I love what I do because I can help others that are going through what I go through. If you're watching this and you know of someone that's struggling, if you know of someone that needs help, have them come to us. Whittier Hearing Center has been nothing but a family to me. They've opened their arms and their doors and it's just been amazing. Um, so send, send whoever you know our way and we will be more than happy to help them.